In conclusion, now there are some other purposes that your PLR can serve that will help to give you leverage in your business. Of course, you can always repurpose some of your content for social media. This will always give you an edge in terms of being able to provide the people who watch you on social media valuable content. You can also repurpose to different forms of PLR. So in other words, you can turn text into audio, you can turn audio to video, all those things to repurpose things into forms that will give your audience, wherever they are, more content from you in the form they expect. You can always repurpose for blog content. If you are a regular blogger and your audience expects good content, cutting edge content, PLR is a great way to deliver it if you're willing to customize it and give it to your audience in the way that they expect. Everything can be... be <coughs> Everything can be repurposed for video content, whether or not it's something you get from a PDF, an audio, even another video can be repurposed for video content that you can make unique for your audience. You can repurpose for podcast content. Now, typically this is going to involve you learning the content or reading the content or having talking points. But the fact that no one's going to see you on camera and you are going to be delivering content to people who have come to listen to you so you can get knowledge on a topic and bring it to your audience using PLR. Now, you can repurpose some content for published content. Now, you do need to be careful about that. There are filters that will keep out PLR. You have to rewrite PLR and you can only use it for ideas. You can only use it for inspiration. If you use it word for word and you change word, it's very likely that you could be caught by spam filters and you could be caught by PLR filters with companies like Amazon. So if you choose to use PLR for published content, use it for the ideas and not directly for the line by line content. So now in this course, we've discussed 11 different ways to leverage PLR in your online business. Regardless of what kind of business you already run, PLR can help you save time and effort. As you hit any content-based barrier, stop and think whether or not you could use high-quality PLR to bridge the gap. For example, are you going to need to add more value to your product? Well, then you can use PLR to solve that problem. Are you going to write a book? We just talked about that. You can actually use PLR, again, if you're willing to use it for the ideas. Do you need to create more content for your subscribers? You can definitely repurpose PLR of all forms of all types in order to deliver content to your subscribers. Would you like to build your authority as a leader in your niche? Well, getting the depth of knowledge in your niche can be as close as the next three or four PLR products on a particular topic. Do you need to make presentations more informative when you give them? Well, always beef them up with additional PLR. If any of these things sound like something you need to do, you've now seen 11 ways that you can use your PLR to accomplish them. And the good thing about the methods you've been shown is that they can easily be adapted to solve other content and information marketing related roadblocks. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I'll see you either in another video or in another course.